Hello and welcome to today's vlog. Hi. Hello Jill, how are you? I'm fine but I'm just a bit worried. You're in a t-shirt and I've got a jumper and a scarf um, and we're inside. <laughs> that's because the stove is full. Flipping hell. It's hot. Yeah. If somebody ever says, is it cold on an hour boat in the winter? No. What we've decided to do, because we're obviously not cruising and it's very cold out there so we're not going to film outside. Um, we've done a day in the life of but what that brought up is looking back on some of our old videos old vlogs that we posted during the last 12 months and what sort of year we've had our first year of cruising Ooh. so we put together two vlogs this one and next week's vlog which is the top 10 but we've split it up into two fives so um the five worst things that happened this year or bad Experi or bad experiences no, bad experiences we learnt by yeah oh yeah we well, always learn from experience because they're, they're not they weren't bad they were just first time to us and we didn't know how to react or how to solve them but yeah. you learn by your mistakes yeah. and, and by your experiences it's five of those things where things didn't go according to plan that's better is that it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then next week will be five things that we really really enjoyed I mean, there's loads, loads more, but we just yeah. had to go for we've five. Tried, we've tried we've enjoyed the whole lot. Yeah. The whole lot. Oh, yeah. All of it's been a learning experience. Yeah. It's been fabulous and... Wouldn't change it for the world. We don't want to be negative and say to you, if you're thinking of buying and living on a narrow boat, don't do it. What we would say, though, is do lots and lots of research beforehand. Yeah. If you can, go out for a holiday or two at various times during the year, and then you'll get an idea of what it's like in the spring summer and certainly in the winter these things are never a, a guide a full guide it's just sort of how we've gone about things and when you watch other vloggers it's how they've gone about things and everybody's different so starting from five all the way to one so five being our least favorable experience down to number one which is the top of the list yeah <laughs> and we've got no our least favorable least favorable. oh i see and then oh i don't know how would you word it yeah the yeah. lightest one yeah so this is not so number five is not too bad by the way we've engaged the services of an american voiceover man to do the countdown it's mm. news to me yeah i thought you might like him oh <laughs> he sounds quite sexy i suppose oh. isn't it? Uh. <laughs> so what have we got first? Well, your favourite animals. What are they? Swans. Swans. Number five. Your favourite jam? I don't like them. They're very beautiful. Oh, oh he's coming. I think John likes swans. Where's the, where's the dad? He's worrying about the dad. <laughs> well, the uh, boat's being blacked, and we can stay on the boat. Um, well, obviously, while they're pressure washing it and getting underneath we thought we'd just uh, take a little bit of time out hello Jan you're there somewhere aren't you I'm in my so, rightful place I know where I'm meant to be yeah you should be able to see her now because I've cut my hair a bit we're as, not going back as you can probably see we're not going back the way we just come what past the Swannies no they are beautiful absolutely beautiful but I was eight and a half months pregnant with our first daughter Sean when I got chased by six of them and I've never forgotten it. Oh dear, you really don't like them, do you? You're getting better though. No, it's not that I don't like them. I think they're absolutely beautiful, but just keep in the water. They're nasty buggers if you don't feed them. <laughs> How can you look so lovely and be so nasty? No. They do make a little bit of a noise, don't they? No, I don't like them. <laughs> okay, all right. So number four, is a recent occurrence where we got caught in the wind 
Speak for yourself. Yes. Number four. I do. Come on. No, you should be all right. I'm just going to bring the front end round a bit. Yeah, don't worry, we're okay. We're in, we're in deeper water. Yeah. Okay, Jan. Okay, Sean. Got it, thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, right, well. We got caught in the wind there. And the wind pushed us against the side bank. But as long as you're not don't go mad, keep it nice and steady. Bit of polling off by Sean and Jan. As you can see, it is extremely windy. The wind can get up at uh, unexpected times. You have yeah, to be I know that. that. Yes. Like midnight. <laughs> That's a different kind of wind, dear. Thank you. What are you sure yeah. about? Um, and talking about getting stuck, um, there was an occasion when we first went out and we were heading up um, towards a set of locks. We'd moored up overnight 
by somewhere called the Two Boats Inn at Long Itchington. Oh my word. And we felt the boat being, well... It... No, 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 no. I was sitting on the settee and slid forward. Oh, that's right, yeah. And I said, <laughs> this isn't right. And I hadn't even had a gin and tonic. Really? And I slid forward and then Tony went to the toilet. And when he shut the door, it opened again. And I said, something's wrong here. And that's when we took a look outside. And OMG. Yeah. So this is when we got grounded. Number three. Here's the situation guys, we uh, moored up last night at Long Itchington, just past the Two Boats pub and we could see the water level was a bit lower than it should be. Then we started listing and the boys in the boat behind us helped us get off because our stern was quite well and truly stuck. We decided to move down here, the levels are obviously low because somebody's left a paddle open or a gate open or somewhere on the flight of locks coming from or round to Long Itchington. We ventured forward to get to Basscoat Locks which is where we are now and we're now waiting for CRT because we can't let any water down at the moment because it will mean the water level will go even further. We've already had a couple of tricky moments, I've not done any filming at the moment because <laughs> it's been a bit dangerous and it's been a bit wet still raining um, but as you can see the levels around here are really low Well, CRT are on the scene. Um, there is some pumping going on at the bottom of these locks. Um, this is a staircase of two at Basscoat. Um, oh, I've just got a phone call. Apparently we're going to be here for a couple of hours. Something to do with the, it's in CRT down there. Something to do with the pump. We've just been told to stay here, but, oh, we are going. The water really is dropping. So yeah, that was uh, CRT on the phone. Um, apparently what's happened is the local electricity company are doing some work in the area um, and the pumping station has lost all power or the electricity company have taken the power out of the pumping station which normally pumps water to circulate from the bottom of these locks all the way up to Stockton locks which is where we were the other day um, which means that um, whilst there's no power, uh, they're having to do this all by hand. So, in other words, filling a lock at the top of the system and letting it run down to those locks at the bottom, which is where we are. In fact, we're going even further lower into Leamington Spa and into Warwick. Um, so that's the update at the moment. And Steve is here from CRT, who's going to keep an eye on us. We're currently at a slight angle. Um, only in so much as our bow is at the front of the lock gates and our stern is just by, as you can see, the old lock keeper's cottage. There's, there's something else we overcame then, isn't it? I mean, you know, just handle these things that, that was, calmly. That was so frightening because we didn't know what to do. It was the middle of the night. I never thought we've got a flat bottom boat and all you'll do is just sit in the silt. Yeah. You know, you don't think about those. I just thought, especially when the woman was walking the dog and we're going down the centre of the canal and she's saying, you're not going any further, are you? And I said, why? And she said, wait till you see the boats down there. But we had no choice. Mm. But although it was frightening, we were helped and we've learnt by that now. Yeah, yeah. All these, all these experiences we said at the beginning, all things we've learnt lots of lessons from. Um, and the next one's quite interesting as well, wasn't it? It was the, because... <laughs> 
when you get your boat and you may be in a marina straight off or you may go straight out in which case then every day out thereafter is a test for us we're in the marina so we hadn't really tested certainly the 12 volts or anything else like oh, that yeah so this was <laughs> this was our first sort of night of it's going to be three nights out i think freedom where we went, where we went to the top of foxton locks from north kilworth marina i thought <laughs> i thought it was hysterical it was freezing cold that night <laughs> bless you no it was really scary at the time really scary oh dear it was it was just like it was something out of like a benny hill film yeah. it was just me running up and down the boat with this bucket full of burning cur cow <laughs> bit of a set you didn't film all, all of I, these bad experiences did you no we were was, too busy trying to get out of them That's it would why. have just been bleep 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 yeah. <laughs> yes oh. so <laughs> so this is our first night out <sighs> <laughs> Number two. I have got three. Oh, still got my body warmer on. But it's it's not really cold, is it? No. No, nice weather. So we're off to. We're off to the top of Foxton Locks. But... We're going to go through them tomorrow, I think, um, and then on to Market Harbour. That's the plan, but um, like most things, narrowboating, it could all change. And we had our Sainsbury's delivery last night. Yeah. It came and it was brilliant. Yeah. So we stocked up, we filled up with water this morning, emptied the cassette. <laughs> so all the domestic jobs are done. Um, basically, this is a shakedown cruise, I think you could call it. Um, yeah, we are, we are a bit nervous, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. It's the first time we've taken our home on the water. <laughs> yeah. But it's also exciting. Yeah. As we obviously we've just bought the boat in January and we haven't actually cruised on it or used it um, other than in the marina. It was like a shakedown cruise um, to see how things worked properly. <laughs> So, but we did get to the top of Foxton Locks. We got as far as we... Beautiful, and, yeah. Uh, absolutely yeah. gorgeous evening. The sun was out and everything. Uh, and we weren't aiming to go down no, Foxton Locks. No. We are going to do that the next day. Yeah. And uh, so we, we got there and we thought, well, it's a bit chilly. We had snowstorms and all sorts of things. So we lit the fire. Now, our stove also has a back boiler, which means it... When it gets to a certain temperature, um, the pump ki kicks in. The pump in. kicks in and sends the uh, fluid. I was going to say water, but it's not water, is it? It's a coolant. That's right, coolant. A bit like you have in a, an engine, a car engine. And it sends the coolant around the system and it heats up two radiators one that we've got in the bathroom and the other one the in bedroom. the bedroom. Um, and it's been working absolutely fine, no problem whatsoever. When it's been getting up to temperature, the pump kicks in and sends hot water around the system. However, on our first night on the boat away from the marina, we get the fire lit and there's a lovely red glow there. <laughs> all nice and like warm. Like my face. All nice and warm. Sorry. Uh, yeah, and we use this. This is a, Just this to is, show you. <laughs> this is a temperature thing. If I, if I press that on, I'm not sure whether you can see that, but it tells you what temperature I am. Don't put it on me. Am I alive? I'm hot. Am I alive? I'm right. 32 degrees. There we go. Um, so we just checked that the thermostat is working by um, shooting this at the thermostat, and it should tell us about 50 degrees, and the pump will kick in. Got up to 60 degrees, 70 degrees, and uh, we were checking it, and going, well, and the pump, pump didn't, didn't kick, kick in. in. So now we've got a hot fire with steam coming out of the, the back. expansion <laughs> tank. Me um, running up and down like a lunatic, and before you ask. No, we didn't film it. No, didn't <laughs> it have was, any hands left to it film it. Panic stations. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there we go. There's an experience, <laughs> isn't it? It was such a shame we couldn't have filmed it yeah, then. That yeah. would have been just hysterical. But hopefully, um, hopefully we've described it enough that you can picture what was happening. <laughs> the room, the saloon, and the boat was filling up with steam um, from the the back boiler. Um, <sighs> The stove was getting hot. We were trying to get the hot coals out. It's bursting up everywhere um, all this water. 
and then putting the water on the the bucket of hot coals. Oh my goodness! It was like as I said, it was like Chernobyl. It was like yeah, it this just, big this oh. big cloud appeared, um, and then it all calmed down and it was all okay. But we were just cold that night. Um, yeah, no heating. So, <laughs> extra layers. <laughs> So there we go. Um, um, what is the top one? What is the experience that really did it for us? Oh. The one that was not necessarily bad, but... Um, we hadn't done this ever. No. On our own. No. We've done it with family years ago when the girls were small. Yeah. And it was one of the biggest things that we... As soon as we came out the marina, it was one of the biggest things that we, we had to do. And I bloody hated it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't like it at all, did no, you? No, I didn't. <laughs> and there was there was a grey cloud looming ahead. Oh. Hopefully you get a helping hand when you're doing double locks. Um, or I should say wide locks, not double locks. Cause not, oh, yeah, yeah. Double locks, you think, side by side. These are wide locks, so two boats can get in, whereas a normal lock would be a single lock, one narrow boat can get in. Here, a wide beam or two narrowboats can get in at the same time. And ideally, when you're going up a flight like Hatton, where there is 21 locks, <laughs> it's called the stairway to heaven for a reason. Because when you get to the bottom, all you can see is sky, isn't it? Oh, it was... Um, and we must have picked the worst day ever. A, because there was nobody coming down, or nobody up. going up. And at the end... It started to rain. Number one. How's it going, Jam? Nearly at the top, the sun's come out. And I've put my uh, hat on. Because this is the hat on flight, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's a cheap gag. Um, so here's the Canal and River Trust workshops on our left. Seem to have some ducks and uh, chicks in the lock. Don't worry, we won't squash them. Then we're interested in eating the algae off the side. Well, <laughs> we've done 21, well, I say we've done, we, well, yes, we are a team. We've done 21 locks. Jan's done all of the gates herself, all the paddles and everything. No bugger was going up or down. <laughs> so I we were all on, it. all on our own. Um, we were going to stop just before the last lock because there's a little calf there, but it was, that wasn't open. And we could see in the distance, it was looking a bit grey over your mother's. And we, this is what happened. We, it, we have been wet, but we obviously get ch we've got changed since. <laughs> um, and this is what, uh, this is why we moored up just Look in time. Look at it. But it was only on the last lock. All day, it wasn't too bad. Um, a little bit of um, showers and whatever, but I had shorts on and waterproof and sandals, um, but then the heavens opened on the last lock and uh, oh, that's it, that's it really, that is it. But we're nice and dry now. I'm going to have a nice gin tea and a red wine for him. Ah, well, what a top five that was. 
Yeah, no, they're not bad. They're not bad. No, no. And um, like I say, you can't always film those um, bad times or when things go wrong because you're trying to get them put right and sometimes you don't have the camera rolling. Mm. Um, and in the case of the Hatton flight, um, we had been filming the first 19 of the locks mm. or thereabouts, um, but when it started pelting it down with rain, you can't obviously keep... <laughs> You'd you, have been wearing the keep, camera, I'm telling you. You can't keep the camera out in that sort of condition, those sort of conditions. Oh, I've so. never seen anything like it. But yes, so there we no. go. Oh. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed this top five. Don't forget, next week we'll have... They get better and better. Yeah. The best things we've done Yeah. in the last 12 months. Some of them, some of them. Yeah, so we can't there's include them too, all. Yeah, there's too many to include all of but them. time-wise, we've just fitted five in. So hope you can join us for those next week. In the meantime, if you've enjoyed this vlog, thumbs up for a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which is totally free. Press the subscribe button. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Ding! And YouTube will <laughs> notify you next time we upload a vlog. If you want to support the channel, there are a couple of ways to do that. We'll put some information up here, up above my head, I think, um, where you can support the channel either here or on Patreon. And we've got some new merch for sale. If you like, ding! Oh, what? <laughs> Check out the merch link down below. In the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Happy cruising. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye. Hello and welcome to today. Hello. <laughs> three, two, one. No, three, two, one. Remember that program? I work with Ted Rogers. Bless him. God rest his soul. Three, two, and I still never know how to do this. Right. Three, two, one.